All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So the brilliant Dokkan mathematicians over at the Dokkan subreddit have just released their updated list for the top 10 hardest hitting LRs currently available in the game. So uh, in today's video, we're gonna check it out together because this is actually one of the most commonly asked questions on my streams and videos. But before we jump in, we gotta give a big shout out to all the people that made this list possible, including Kariru2, and also, uh, let's see, Levi underscore 8912, Imu Ayaka, Usaku Ai, M underscore Truth, Trash Guy Bob, and finally, Amino Segi. If I butchered any of these names, I do apologize, didn't mean to, but these are all the amazing people that worked their butts off to uh, bring this list to us, so we really appreciate it. And uh, one other thing that we got to do before we get to the list is go over a few rules. Okay, so first things first, all units will be calculated on the new turn average of 4.5 turns from start of battle. Units are calculated at the rainbow level. Units are calculated on their optimal teams or the teams that provide the uh, highest attack per turn output. Optimal teams are determined by the highest damaging lineup for a team while fitting under the complete leader skill, ignoring no parts of it, a new counter average as well, as a new hit received average has also been found, units who do not make the optimal team will not be considered for the list, and units who appear twice on a team will have their highest attack per turn rotation considered, any support units on the team are factored into the attack per turn of the units shown. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's pop over to the list here. And uh, we're going to start here with some honorable mentions from 15 to 11. At number 15, we have LR Blue Gogeta with a attack return of 9.7 or 9.87 million, which is very respectable. At number 14, we have the LR GT Trio from the four year anniversary with a attack return of 10.14 million. And then we have LR Blue Vegito at number 13 with 10.14 million as well, probably just slightly higher in the GT Trio. And at number 12, we have LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, which actually kind of surprised me considering, um, you know, he actually kind of got a debuff with a new Link system, the fact that you can't trigger he links twice. But uh, apparently he makes this list at number 12 with 10.37 million attack per turn. And then at number 11, the last of the honorable mentions, we have the LR Hale and Khalifla with an attack per turn of 10.92 million. Okay, so those are the honorable mentions, number 15 to number 11 on the list. And then we're gonna move on now to the official top 10 list, starting with number 10, you guys probably saw it at the bottom of the screen already, but we have LR Spirit Bomb Absorbed Goku. Leader, of course, is the uh, AGL Blue Gogeta. And here is the full lineup here with LR Gogeta, the Fizz one, of course, the AGL Gogeta, the STR Gogeta, and then we have the uh, Super Saiyan Gohan from the Broly movie, and also the uh, STR Gogeta. So a lot of Gogetas, obviously a movie heroes slash uh, Super Saiyans team. And uh, some notes here, 24 key average, alternating slots, 9 orb average, 21% attack per orb, and 100% uptime for these links. Experience Fighters, Super Saiyan, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, and legendary power, and he has an average defense of 145,924 and a supported attack per turn of 10,972,780, which of course is just a little bit higher than the LR Kale and Khalifla, but that lands him at number 10 on the list. Moving on to number 9 now, we have the brand new LR Boo Tanks. Of course, he's under his own leader skill. Here's the full lineup. Some additional notes here. He's best in slot two of the rotation. There's a 33.33% transformation uptime. And as far as his links, we have Majin, Metamorphosis, the wall standing tall and fierce battle at 100% uptime and big bad bosses at 33%. Of course, he only gets big bad bosses once you transform into uh, Buhan and his average defense is calculated at 384,490, which is a ton. I think that's the highest on the list actually, but we'll get to that in a second. And his supported attack per turn is 11,448,716, which is quite a bit higher than LR Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku. And then at number 8, we have the new LR Vegito or Goku and Vegito that fuse into Vegito under a uh, int LR Vegito leader skill. 
And here is the full lineup we got here. Alternating slots for most counters, makes sense. And 28% transformation uptime. As far as the links go, it's 100% uptime for prepare for battle, as well as fierce battle. And then 28% uptime for fused fighter, power bestowed by god, super saiyan, and kamehameha, and then 50%. For legendary power. Their average defense is calculated to be 137,338 and their supported attack per turn is 11,958,513 which is about 500,000 more than LR Boot Tanks but Boot Tanks has a massive advantage as far as defense goes and I've always said that I think the Vegito is better than the Boot Tanks because obviously Vegito does more damage and still has decent defense but now I'm not so sure, man, because even though they do more damage, it's not that huge of a difference. And I mean, the extra defense for Boot Tanks kind of puts them over the top for me compared to Vegito. I don't know, I have to think about it for a bit, but this list is definitely making me reconsider a few things. Anyways, let's move on to number 7, which is Tech LR Jiren. And he's under his own leader skill. Here's the full lineup. The notes for him are 22 key average, slot 1, slot 2 on active skill, 0% active skill uptime, 87% super effective rate, and 58% crit rate. And for his links, the uptimes are 100% for godly power, tournament of power, supreme warrior, fierce battle, and legendary power. And his average defense is 243,840 and supported attack per turn of 12,673,277 which is uh, about what 700,000 more than LR Vegito and with more defense so yeah Jiren's really really good and for my global players out there we can probably expect to see him I would say sometime in the beginning of December and uh, to me he's a must summon but obviously he is going to be on the legendary summon banner so uh, take that into consideration. Okay, from there we have number six, and this might surprise some people because he is a little bit older at this point. But AGLLR Super Saiyan 4 Goku under his own leader skill. Here is the full team, and uh, for his notes, it's 24 key average. Obviously, he gets a lot of key. Uh, slot 2, 33% active uptime. Pan gives 33% or sorry, 30% ally boost, and for his link uptimes. It's 100% for Saiyan Roar, Super Saiyan, and Fierce Battle, and GT, and then 33% for Kamehameha, and 67% for Prepare for Battle, average defense 227,730, and supported attack per turn of 13,221,896. So people didn't really believe me when I said this in the past, but uh, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku is still one of the best units in the game, even though he's from the 4 year anniversary, even though he's over a year old at this point, he is still absolutely phenomenal. So yeah, number 6 on the list still. At number 5 we have the newest LR in the game, the Fizz LR Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta, under a uh, STR LR Vegito team or lead, and here is the full team you're going to be running. And some additional notes for him, he's in slot 2, 45.83% active uptime, 100% special super uptime, and for the link uptimes, it's 100% for Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Race, and Fierce Battle, and 67% for Legendary Power, average defense of 307,098, and supported attack return of 13,820,400 and 87 which is approximately 600,000 more than number six the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and then at number four we have another LR that's currently not available on global yet but they should be coming sometime in the end of November once again these are all just guesses they're just speculation so it might not happen but I'm guessing end of November for global and then you know Jiren will come after so we have Fizz LR Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. They are under a Realm of Gods lead, in this case AGL Zamasu. Here is the full team. And for their notes, we have a 21 key average, 7 orb obtained average, 3 rainbow orb average, 47.465% crit rate, and 0% active uptime. For the uh, link uptimes, it's 100% for Super Saiyan, Warrior Gods, Godly Power, and Fierce Battle and 20% for Kamehameha, 
Their average defense is 183,519 and supported attack per turn of 13,891,000, 13, 13,891,971. Okay, so that is a, a slight uptick from the Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta, so they're actually quite close, and I would say, of course, this guy's actually better because of the additional defense he's getting, right? But still, of course, these guys are phenomenal. That's why they're number four on the list right now. And at number four, or sorry, number three, I'm getting my numbers mixed up, man. At number three, we have uh, a recent LR that was just released on Global and also JP, I guess. Hasn't been that long, but we have the Int LR Rosé from the five-year anniversary. Uh, under a Int LR uh, Vegito team, here is the full lineup. He's calculated with 20 key on average, locked in slot 2, 0% active uptime, and 100% full passive uptime. For his link uptimes, is 100% for Fierce Battle and Big Bad Bosses, and 67% for Super Saiyan and Kamehameha. Average defense of 184,438, of course this is after he supers and supported attack per turn of 14,032,354. Um, so about 100,000 more than the LR Blue Boys right here. And now we have number two, which is the Tech LR Broly. Okay, so he's being led by the STR Cooler. Here's the full team we're gonna be running with him. 19 key on average, locked in slot two, 8% uptime versus multiple enemies and 33% uh, transformation uptime, 33% active uptime. Links, Fierce Battle, Prepare for Battle, and Saiyan Warrior Race with 100% uptimes. And his average defense is gonna be 160,151 and supported attack per turn of 14,574,884, about 500,000 more than LR Rose right here. And finally, we have number one, the hardest hitting LR still in the game, even to this day. He's been on this list for the last two years or so, and he's been at number one the entire time, and he still is at number one to this day, which honestly kind of blows my mind. I was not expecting this, but we have at number one, the hardest hitting LR in the game right now, LR, Goku, and Frieza. Okay, so of course under their own leader skill 177% to reps of universe 7 and we also have the uh, lineup here with the tech 10 and the fizz android 17 some other tech type supports down here as well as lr jiren and the notes here 23 key on average in slot 2 of the rotation 87% debuff uptime and for his links 100% for over in a flash 100% for experienced fighters 33% for Fierce Battle, Legendary Power, and Tournament of Power. Oh, and also 100% for uh, Rival Duo. I think I missed that. Anyways, those are the uptimes for the Lynx. And for the average defense, it's 203,064. And supported attack per turn, it's 17,813,450, which is actually about 3.2 million. Is that right? About 3.2 million more than the Tech LR Broly at number two. So it doesn't look like LR Goku and Frieza are gonna be dethroned anytime soon, as much as you know, Tech Broly is insane, as hard as Rose hits, as crazy as this guy is, and this guy is, and all of these other LRs we recently got in the game. For talking about pure damage output, on their hardest hitting team with their hardest hitting rotation uh lr goku and frieza is still king at the moment they're still at number one in the game and that is your list guys okay number one we have goku and frieza and then tech broly at number two rose at number three uh blue boys at number four super saiyan 2 angel vegeta at number five super saiyan 4 goku at number six uh, LR Jiren at number 7, LR Vegito at number 8, LR Buhan at number 9, and Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku at number 10. Honorable mentions, 11 is Kaelin Khalifla, 12 is Super Saiyan 3 Goku, 13 is Vegito, 14 is GT Trio, and 15 is Gogeta. So that is the list, guys. Once again, a big shout out to all the brilliant people over at the Dokkan subreddit that made this list possible. Once again, to give them a shout out, we have Kariru2, 
We have Levi underscore eight uh, eight nine one two Emu Ayaka Kusaku I M Truth Trash Guy Bob and Kamino Segi. Okay, so there you go, guys. That is the updated hardest hitting LRs in the game list. And uh, for all of you guys who have been asking this question over and over again on the streams and videos, there you go. There's your answer for the hardest hitting LR in the game. All right. And uh, that's going to be the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your viewership as always. If you guys liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.